What kind of saxophone sound are you looking for? Dark, bright, somewhere in between, a combination of the two, or does it depend on the style of music you're playing? In this video, I'm gonna go into some of the ways you can go about helping get your sound to be on the darker end of the spectrum, and we're also going to be giving away some beautiful high-end mouthpieces, so stick around to find out how you can enter for a chance to win the contest. J. Metcalf here from bettersax.com, and if you like saxophone gear, videos, and giveaways like the one you're about to watch, you know what to do. You may have heard that some saxophones play brighter and others play darker, and that's true to some extent, but the mouthpiece you're playing on has a much bigger role in how bright or dark your sound is. As a general rule of thumb, the more baffle a mouthpiece has, the brighter it'll play, and the less baffle it has, the darker it will play. In case you're not exactly sure, the baffle is inside the mouthpiece, opposite where the reed goes, just after the tip. So it's really the first thing that's shaping the air column when you blow into the mouthpiece. A higher baffle forces the air to travel faster, resulting in a brighter, more powerful sound, while a lower baffle allows the air to pass more slowly, resulting in a darker and less powerful sound. So one easy way to get a darker sound is to play on a mouthpiece with less baffle in it. Another variable that can help you get a darker sound is a larger chamber. The chamber is the inside middle part of your mouthpiece. Scooped out and rounded sidewalls can also contribute to a darker, more round sound and different combinations of all these elements can be blended together in countless ways when designing mouthpieces, and that's part of the reason why there are so many to choose from. Today I'm gonna to be playing for you a new mouthpiece that's designed to help players get that traditional dark jazz sound. It's the Jody Jazz HR Star Custom Dark, and I've got it for soprano, alto, and tenor saxophone. This mouthpiece has all the characteristics I mentioned earlier. A lower baffle, larger chamber, and scooped out sidewalls. It also has an immaculate facing with a beautiful thin tip rail and side rails. It has this gold-plated brass ring on the shank, which gives it a nice weight, but also helps balance out all that darkness by boosting some of the harmonics in the sound. Have a listen to me playing the alto version in a seven tip opening with a two and a half strength reed. I'm gonna be playing melodies from songs about places, so test your knowledge of jazz standards and comment below if you know all the titles. One of the benefits that comes with playing lower baffle mouthpieces is they're usually very easy to play softly. The trade-off, however, is often giving up some amount of power. Listening back for me, I hear a nice, warm, dark alto sound with a lot of core and still retaining a good amount of power. I wouldn't take this mouthpiece along with me if I was going to a funk gig, but if I was playing some acoustic jazz gig, I wouldn't be afraid of not being heard. I'm someone who prefers a brighter sound on alto, but this mouthpiece really sings with a complex tone, and I gotta say, I've really enjoyed playing it. Now another little hack that can quickly darken your sound is to play on harder reeds. And by the same token, if you want to brighten your sound, you can play 
softer reads. On soprano, I've been looking for a darker mouthpiece because I feel that my sound is always too bright on that horn. In the clip you're about to hear, I'm playing the custom dark HR star in a seven tip opening with a three and a half strength read. This harder read helps me get the sound even darker. I don't play a lot of soprano, but since this new mouthpiece came out, and this is the newest of the HR Star custom dark mouthpieces, I've been playing soprano a lot more and I've really been enjoying it. Now, tenor is the horn where I usually go for the darkest sound. So in the clip you're about to hear, I'm playing a seven star tip opening with a two and a half strength reed. This combination gives me a great balance. In the low end, I get that really nice, response, whether I'm playing subtone or full tone down there. And there's enough brightness in the sound that nothing ever gets tubby or stuffy. <laughs> Listening back, I hear a nice crisp response without sacrificing any of the dark quality of the sound. So once again, this mouthpiece is covering a lot of ground here. If you're looking for a mouthpiece that will allow you to play softly with a rich and complex sound that still retains a fair amount of power and never gets stuffy, the HR Star Custom Dark is a very good choice. Again, if I were playing this mouthpiece in a very loud setting, I might struggle to be heard sometimes. So this would not be my choice if I was going to play with a merengue band or a DJ gig. Not that I've done either of those things in a very long time. Now, if you had the choice for any one of these mouthpieces, which one would you choose? Let me know in the comments below. And guess what? You might actually get the chance to choose one. We are doing a giveaway contest for the HR Star Custom Dark mouthpieces. Two winners will get their choice of any HR Star Custom Dark in any tip opening for soprano, alto, or tenor saxophone. Click the link in the description below to enter the contest. All you need is an email address, but make sure you use one that you check because that's how we contact the winners. Once you're signed up, you can get bonus entries by doing some simple tasks and increase your chances of winning. For example, I would love for you to visit and subscribe to my latest YouTube channel, Better Tracks. Over there, I'm just playing the saxophone and you can hear me playing over lots of great backing tracks that are available over at bettertracks.com. In my latest video on that channel, you can hear me playing over a standard and I'm using the HR Star Custom Dark on Soprano. You can also follow and visit Better Sax and Jody Jazz on Instagram, where you're gonna see lots of great saxophone content daily. 
Thanks for watching. Good luck in the contest, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.